in the last few years, there have been a lot of resistance issues in terms of weed control. So to combat that, what we suggest is switching modes of action or using multiple modes of action. But right away, you might say, well, boy, that sounds confusing. How do I know it's a different mode of action? That's what we want to talk about today. Well, certainly there's been a big emphasis on this in the ag chem industry, and you've seen some changes on labeling, where right now we've got labels on different herbicides that just put the group number right on the front of the label. So you can see, hey, is this a group one? Is this a group two? Uh, is it an HPPD product that's a group 27? Uh, or if you've got a premix where you may have more than one mode of action inside, uh, you can see, oh, this contains a group 2 and it contains a group 27 or, or whatever products that you're looking at. I, I think in some crops, farmers are really aware of these groups. When we look at wheat, for example, there's really only two grass killing groups that have been used over the last uh, generation. We have either ACCAs, which are group 1s, or ALS, which are group 2s. And a lot of wheat farmers across the country will talk about, hey, is that a group two or a group one when we're talking about different grass control herbicides? But when we look at soybeans, uh, there's a lot of guys that just really don't know what groups things are, and that's why we've ended up with as many resistant weeds as we have, in my opinion, as guys just didn't even realize that, wow, uh, I'm really not very. I'm using the same groups every single year. Well, I don't really know if it's that, Darren, that people didn't understand that. I think it's just the fact of the matter that Roundup was working so well Boy, let's just run with that. I really like Roundup. I'm going to do it three times this year. And then I'm going to use it for burn down <laughs> in my wheat. Then I'm going to use it for a couple of times in corn. That Roundup's awesome. Well, if you keep using the same thing year after year, that's what you're headed for is resistance issues. And I don't care what herbicide it is, eventually there are going to be resistance problems. Now we're lucky because some of the older herbicides like Dicamba and 2,4-D, there's not much resistance in that. I mean, we've still got some of these options moving forward, but here's the big thing we suggest for you. If you're having resistant weed issues and you say, let's take Roundup for example. Okay, so Roundup isn't killing whatever, my common ragweed on my farm, fine. Don't then give it any credit for controlling that. You're gonna switch groups and maybe not only have one group that's active on common ragweed, have two other groups that are active on common ragweed and use appropriate rates, okay? So you used to be able to get by with a cut rate of a pre because Roundup's gonna clean up the problem afterwards. Well, it's not gonna do that anymore if you've got a resistant weed. And certainly map out which groups you're using uh, if you're in a corn and soybean rotation, for example, talk with your agronomist and say, okay, here's my program I'm doing on corn, here's my program I'm doing on soybeans, and I'll probably do just the exact opposite next year. The ground that was corn, I'll go beans. The ground that was beans, I'll go corn. So I'll switch those programs around, so I'll use that soybean program over here next year. So over two years, here's all the products I'm using. Then take a look at how many different groups you've got there. If you see, wow, I'm using the same groups in corn as I am in soybeans, make some changes in your operation. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with some problems and you're gonna find quickly the holes in those programs, which weeds are really tough to kill because it's only gonna take a couple years and they're gonna start becoming the predominant weeds you're fighting. To help you learn more about these different herbicide modes of action and to use them appropriately, we've got a couple of different options for you. Number one, attend an Ag PhD agronomy workshop uh, throughout the season. Uh, this year we've kind of got those wrapped up, but we still have a lot of that information out there. You can get a hold of us, we can get you some of that info, or look for it on agphd.com. Otherwise, just download the free Ag PhD Mode of Action or MOA app, and then you can put in all the different products you're using, and it will literally tell you, okay, I've got these different modes of action that I'm using on my farm, or it can even give you suggestions if you say, well, I wanna pick a different mode, what could you do? Lots of different options there, things you can look through yourself for free on your own farm. Well, all this information is especially critical if you have a tough weed to control, like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this weed coming up next. <laughs> <laughs>